Just last week, 11 Investigates brought you Guilty Without Proof, the story of Carl Willis and Wayne Brady, two men convicted of a 1998 murder that they said they knew nothing about. The story has caused a lot of questions among you, the viewers, possibly the biggest. What now? Brian Duggar has more. Thanks, Andrew. Take a look at this graphic behind me. You know, short preview of Guilty Without Proof has now reached almost 7 million people. There have been thousands of comments on all of our media platforms. People are angry and people want to know why won't prosecutor Julia Bates' office take another look at this case? Well, we can't give you that answer because Mrs. Bates has not returned calls or emails. But tonight, I want to tell you what other areas of the country are doing with similar cases. So I am going to grant the motion to, con uh, to vacate the conviction. Uh, your ordered release. Thank you. Last year, Ruel Saylor was freed from prison after a 15-month investigation by the Cuyahoga County Conviction Integrity Unit. He was one of 151 people across the country who were freed in 2018 after reviews showed they were innocent. Those people spent a total of 1,639 years in jail. It's a system run by people, and people make mistakes. And Oftentimes, um, we don't know everything at the time that you're prosecuting a case. Valerie Newman is the director of the Wayne County Conviction Integrity Unit located in Detroit. Started in January 2018, the unit has investigated more than 200 cases. 12 inmates have either been exonerated or freed by the unit because of problems with their cases. What's it like being home? Good. It's <laughs> wonderful, actually. Richard Phillips was released after 47 years because Newman's team was able to find obvious problems with the police investigation. If there wasn't the Wayne County Conviction Integrity Unit in place, would Richard Phillips be free right now? So at the very least, Richard Phillips probably would have spent another two years in prison um, while this got hashed out in, in, in the court system. There are now 44 conviction integrity units across the country, and seven of those are in counties smaller than Lucas County. They're divisions of the prosecutor's office and allow a fresh set of eyes to look at claims of innocence. Often those eyes are former defense attorneys. Well, hopefully it reaches a crescendo. Newman was that, a defense you know, attorney for 25 years. In Guilty Without Proof, we told you that no evidence directly tied Carl Willis and Wayne Brady to the 1998 killing of 13-year-old Maurice Purify. Travis Slaughter, a man who admitted to shooting Maurice and to raping a 12-year-old girl, was the only person to say Brady and Willis were involved. He has since recanted his testimony. But at every step of the appeals process, Brady and Willis have been opposed by Lucas County Assistant Prosecutor Andy Lastra and the investigators who put them in prison in the first place. There is no set of fresh eyes looking at their case. There is no conviction integrity unit in Lucas County. They're gonna need more judges. When asked her thoughts on ensuring the integrity of the judicial process in Lucas County, elected prosecutor Julia Bates emailed the following. We honor our oaths as lawyers, as prosecutors, our ethics and our commitment to the rule of law to ensure a fair trial and just results for all parties, victims and suspects alike. In Philadelphia, John Miller was exonerated in July of a 1998 murder. Like Brady and Willis, there was no physical evidence, only the testimony of a man who was involved in the killing. Now that man later recanted his testimony and wrote a letter to his co-defendant's mother to apologize. Slaughter wrote several letters of apology to Brady and Willis. Like a crazy Jennifer Bergeron of the Ohio Innocence Project has been representing Brady and Willis on appeal. She has been frustrated by resistance from local officials to reopening the case. She represented Ruel Saylor in Cleveland and worked with the Cuyahoga County Conviction Integrity Unit. She believes that a similar unit would be helpful in Lucas County. You know, it's very hard for people to look back at something that they worked on and admit that maybe they made a mistake, um, not necessarily because they're trying to be evil, but just because that's human nature. In Wayne County, the prosecutor's office is using federal grants and county funding to support its conviction integrity unit. More than 1,000 appeals have been submitted in a little more than 18 months.
I do think there's a problem. Um, and that's why I'm really proud to be doing the work that I'm doing. Um, because you have to acknowledge that mistakes get made um, in order to be able to fix them. This is a first step. Next Newman said that Wayne County uh, Prosecutor Kim Worthy is committed to conviction integrity. And that she told Newman that we have to get it right because we're dealing with people's lives. And there's a pro plenty of prosecutors out there who don't acknowledge that mistakes get made. And then things can, can never get better. And you really have to wonder what's going on in an office like that. Now, the National Registry of Exonerations has now documented 2,480 exonerations since 1989. Lucas County has three people on that list, but none have been added since 2003. Philadelphia and its Conviction Integrity Unit have cleared seven people this year. Now, if you are concerned or have questions about how cases are handled in Lucas County, email us here at demandchange at WTUL.com. Reporting in studio, Brian Duggar, WTUL 11.